master web development with Skill Bakery. Hey everyone! Ready to level up your web dev skills? Introducing SkillBakery.com premium courses starting at just $6 or 500 rupees. Sign up today and learn in-demand skill sets. Unlock your potential today at SkillBakery.com. Hello and welcome to another exciting video. In this one, we'll be learning how to auto-assign a pull request on GitHub. So over here, you can see I'm in my main branch. And within the .github directory, I've created a file called Code Owners. Do notice that it's going to be all caps. So Code Owners without any spaces or anything. And within that, you need to specify what all files will be part of this. So in my case, I'm setting all the files in my repo as part of code owners. So here, the asterisk symbol denotes that. And then we have the username. Now, this is the GitHub ID. So you don't have to specify your own ID per se. Like if you are the owner of the repo, then you don't have to specify your user ID. It's some other user other than the owner. So I've done this uh, ID over here, and you can specify multiple users by delimiting it with a space. Now, what I've done is I've saved this and pushed it to my main branch. So here, you can see the history over here, updated code owners, and uh, this is the file earlier. I had specified the owner account itself, so that was not working, so you have to ensure this. Now, once you've done that, switch over to the dev branch, like over here in my case, and in my dev branch, what I'm going to do is in my read.md file, I'll be updating this as save. So this is the change that I've made in my readme.md file. And here you can see that it's reflecting. Now let's commit to dev branch and here push to origin. So this change will now be part of the dev branch. Next, we'll be heading over to our repo in GitHub. And here under pull request, you can see one is shown as open and the other one is closed. So let me close this as well. So I have closed these existing ones. And now what I'll do is I'll be creating a new pull request. Now, when I do that, it will say that you need to choose a different branch. So let's go ahead and choose a different branch. So here we have the dev branch coming up. And here it's just showing me the changes that we have made. So you can see these two lines over here. The PR was changed to pull request. and here, if I go ahead and say create pull request. So you'll notice that when it's loading this template over here under reviewers, you don't see any reviewers. But as soon as you do this create pull request, and here you will see that the reviewers are coming up over here. Now, a couple of things that you have to take care of. The first thing is under settings, you must have these collaborators. So all the users that you have under collaborators will be automatically assigned to this particular pull request. For example, if I go ahead and click on new and then dev over here, and then I go ahead and say create pull request, you'll notice that the reviewer is coming up directly over here. So only those which are under collaborators will be shown over here. And you can learn more about code owners and what all you can specify in that file. For example, if you just want JavaScript files to be owned by a certain user, then you can specify .js as the file extension and then the name of the owner. So you have various options over here, which you can explore further. 